What is up guys? My name is Simeon. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? So a lot of us have been very annoyed with The Sims lately and I think we can all pretty much agree that there's a lot of things that need to be fixed in the game. And we say this over and over but what exactly does that mean? The game needs to be fixed. So I did a whole poll on my YouTube. If you go to my community tab I always ask you guys questions so don't forget to always check up on there. But I asked you guys what is the something that's wrong with your game? What's going on? We have to get to the bottom of this. What is actually causing The Sims to quote unquote be broken. And so I'm gonna read this kind of Reddit style and also throw in my opinions here and there. So let's get into it. So the first one's by Felice Bias and said, what annoys me is when you cancel an action and the sim still goes to the other side of the house to stop in front of the sink or whatever, especially when your game was paused when you canceled the action. I completely agree with this because I don't know if it happens with everybody else, but I definitely can relate to that. I literally make a cancel and for some reason they just won't do it or they'll add like three more bubbles on top of what I X out of and do their own thing instead of actually listening to what I say. I don't know if it has to do with the AI or the situation that they've maybe built or coded, but that definitely needs to be fixed. I do know there's some modders and CCs out there that have fixed this, but again, we shouldn't rely on them because at the end of the day, not everyone has mods or CCs and people play on console and console deserves to have a good playing game too. So the next game is by DZIS03, simulation lag, sims freezing or resetting, routing problems, and walking randomly, making random choices. One I had yesterday, they went to the toilet, then decided to wash hands three floors down, even though there was a sink in the bathroom. Same goes for washing dishes everywhere but the kitchen sink. If you set likes for furniture, goes to look at it without being prompted, not being seated for more than a few seconds, solo and especially in groups, taking too long to do things or not doing them at all, getting random messages every few minutes from other sims asking redundantly or totally illogical questions, being mad or sad because they have a want or fear that's not fulfilled in an instant, making strange choices in communication with other sims, all of that while I play with autonomy turned off and all of it is non-pack related. If we go into pack specific problems with gameplay, there's a whole myriad of problems. Now. I completely agree with this entire statement. There was a bunch of things listed off here as you guys can see, but at the end of the day, I do feel like I don't understand why The Sims can't do this. I don't understand why they can't fix certain things like this. I think everyone can relate to you when you mention those problems because I have had every single one of those things happen to me. Every single one of those things. So it's not, it's, it's a repeating problem. It's not just one person here and there. And I've noticed that a lot when I was looking over the comments and what you guys had to say about why the game is actually broken and this is what this means it means that there's a repeated problem you know what i mean it's not one person's game it's not this but oh like and i know that some gurus actually mentioned saying that oh it has to do with your computers or your specs or that's blah 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 that's some cop-out bullshit because we all know what exactly they are capable of we've seen what they did with one two and three and we see what they can do when it comes down to early packs that have been released when the sims 4 first launched now they have gotten money hungry, especially over the past couple of years with kits and then these stuff packs are no longer a thing. Uh, I just, I completely agree with your whole comment. But anyway, let's get into the very next one. This one's gonna be about finding Maria Elvis and says, the little things like Sims deciding to sit and eat anywhere else except the dining table. Bonus points if they do sit at one, but it's at the one most out of the way. Using the bathroom to wash up dishes or toddlers being taken out of the high chairs when they were just put in them. Oh my goodness, the freaking toddlers being taken out of the high chairs. I am sure everyone can relate to this and this is why a lot of people are worried about the new life stage that's coming out soon, which we're gonna be supposedly getting next year. I think it's gonna be at the beginning of the next year, which is why The Sims has been quiet, but I don't know, we'll see. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about that. But yes, the toddlers being taken out of the chairs and The Sims just totally avoiding what you actually want them to do. Again, there's mods and CCs for each and every single one of these fixes, but again, we should never ever ever have to rely on other people to make the game better when this is a billion dollar company it just doesn't make sense and it sounds like pretty much a cop out when they use other excuses as to why they can't fix or do these things someone else by the name of blonde birdie actually commented this exact thing so it's a repeated problem and the sims needs to take note of this this is something that happens all the time now the next one goes into by g daniel says if i travel my items disappear i got married and transferred over household funds next thing you 
you know, I'm still broke after arriving home from the wedding. Items I had received after promotion, gone. Things I have um, fished for what and wanted to sell, gone. So now I have to save before I travel, and since they're loading screen for travel, it really interrupts my game time. Yes, I completely agree with this entire statement, and I don't even know if you guys are noticing this, but I did mention this in my last video. A lot of people are actually having problems with the loading screens. So you know when you click out of your loading screen and you're trying to go into like another world, the game still plays and it loads and takes forever and the next thing you know it's people's sims are going through something or maybe something happened with another sim because the game is still loading but the game is unpaused so it's still going while the game is low it's a whole thing and everybody's getting jumbled up let me know down below in the comments as this happened to you where you're trying to visit another world and the game didn't pause it just kept going that's a whole situation within itself but again these are issues of what we mean by the game is broken because people always revert to mods and CCs. Now, Townie Sim Bill said on the building side, there are a lot of problems. The game will often delete entire groups of objects far away from the click point of my mouse. Curved walls are a hot mess with random polygons clipping through. Roofs reappear and break through walls when internal walls are moved. Even through the inside, it's still enclosed. These are only a few of the issues. Gameplay wise, I agree with a lot of other Sims regarding Sims who get stuck or completely ignore what we select for them to do. I've had entire actions disappear and I have to debug reset Sims constantly on Unfortunately, now I totally agree with you and I'm actually glad that you brought up build mode things because a lot of times people end up only bringing up gameplay about what's broken into the game but there's a lot of things going wrong with building as well I do not know why they released the circles which I know we all wanted but if it wasn't gonna be you know if, why why the clips why not make sure everything is absolutely correct before you launch the game itself I just don't understand who is passing these things and do it's like a hurry up and just push it out let's see how much money we can make and and then they move on to the next thing. I don't know. It seems like they're doing it for clout. Now, someone by the name of Preppy Bish said that it just feels shallow and empty. We haven't gotten any real gameplay since last year at this point. I only use Sims 4 for Create a Sim and BB only because I'm so bored with the gameplay. Now, again, I feel like a lot of people feel this way. It's not just you. I've seen this multiple times in my comments with, with exactly what you said. And that is completely valid. The next person also goes on to say... By the name of Marlo Joe Parker says, When I try to make my Sims family eat at breakfast and dinner, they all have to get up and hug each other. It's too much of a hassle to get them to all sit back down without ending their conversation, and it looks stupid for them to all stand up by the table and eat. So I just let them have their meals completely silently, even though they all eat at the same time. So I definitely see a pattern here, especially when it's coming down to food and eating and sitting down at the table. Again, I personally have a mod for this, but again, we should not have to rely on them. And I'm just like, this is something that they should have made sure was in the game itself. I don't know why they release broken AIs or what they're doing in the game to, to create this code where it consistently messes up and then they just promote it like it's okay. I just, this is not okay. It's not fair. Someone else by the name of Pleb says, it's literally unplayable for me. It irritates me so much and the fact that everyone's complaining about the game being so buggy yet all the staff sit back and do nothing about it they're just making they're just milking money out of us at this point and i completely agree they know exactly what they're doing we're the consumers we're the ones who keep buying this we're the ones who keep falling for it and you know most of the time maybe it's not even us maybe it's the newcomers that are also doing the same thing but at the end of the day someone is still buying it and people are still feeding into it and therefore they're still making money if you go onto the sims and this is actually on the ea site you can see what they make you can see how much much and how well the sims is doing regardless of how much we talk shit about the sims they are making money they are still fine they are completely good when it comes down to sales and it's like how can this be people are consistently complaining but there's always new players there's always people that are finding out about the game there's always the people that are og simmers who still no matter what happens they will still get a pack because they're collectors there's always things going on but as consumers we do have to sometimes put our foot down and go hey as a collective it only happens as a collective not when there's one person it has to be like some my wedding story type shit where everyone including EA Game Changers says something. Now the next person by the name of Lilani Lean says when the sims use the bathroom sink to wash dishes instead of the one in the kitchen. All the bugs including impacts especially dying out high school years and basically all of them I don't know why I'm trying to pick lol. I was really annoyed when they updated the game and after high school years and things broke even more like beds so all of my CC furniture was broken until the modding community did the job EA refuses to do till this day. Again we are still relying on modders and CC creators to make up for the fact that the sims 
just can't get their shit together? What is it about this team that they can't get their shit together? How long have these, like, simmers been hired or these sim gurus have been hired to do the things that they can't do? Like, do they not see all the complaints that are going on? Is someone not getting it? Is someone not seeing, hey, all these consumers can't be wrong. They're all stating the exact same thing. It's not like we're all, like calling out little BS stuff here and there. It's like we're all complaining about the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm just going to realize, when are we going to realize? Like, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. I don't know what to tell you. I know you guys really want to believe from the bottom of your heart that these sim gurus care about the game so much. And people always get mad at me about, like, oh, you're talking shit about the sim gurus. But it's like, when are we going to hold them accountable? Like, these are the people that consistently gaslight us in our faces. Literally, they see what we have to say about it. And then they go, oh, email this person. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't. I have nothing to do with that. Oh, there's different departments. Oh, there's different. Well, who can we talk to? Because Sims Direct is not very direct. The sim gurus gaslight us in our faces, and EA doesn't give a shit. So what are we left to do? Anyway, the next person by Kayla Weasley says, Freelance maker career doesn't work properly. I go to send the finished products to the clients from the computer, and it glitches out and doesn't complete the task to finish the job. Check the form, and, and this has been an issue since 2019 that hasn't been fixed. Again, how many times are they going to have to do updates and fixes and updates and fixes and then there's still something wrong with the game? I feel like at this point there's always going to be something wrong with the game because... Uh, anyway, guys, the next person by Max Easy said the teen hangout lot trait doesn't work. I had to use the talk to friends option to meet another sim. I actually, this is my first time actually hearing about that. So let me know down below in the comments. Do you guys have an issue with that too? Someone else by the name of Dale said, dine out. But overall, very laggy. My laptop is a bit old, but I have mods and CC, very minimal. So there shouldn't be an excuse why I'm experiencing this. And I actually completely agree because a lot of times when people are like oh, like, oh, your game's broken, it's your CCs and mods. Oh, you act like your game is broken, it's because your CCs and mods. And what about the people who don't have that? There is still something wrong with the game. This is what we're talking about when we say there is something wrong with the game. Because I know a lot of pe times people always want to associate your game is because of the mods. Your game is because of the CCs. And I know like we don't have control over that. That's why the whole Curse Forge collaboration happened. Yada, 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 yada. And it's just really annoying because they try and gaslight us as if nothing is wrong. Like something is wrong with the game. And like stop gaslighting us. I'm tired of people gaslighting us because everything we're saying is valid. The next person by Weird Animal Guy said they drink too much freaking water it's such a little thing but it pisses me off that the moment i let my guard down they're autonomously guzzling water and then inching towards the bathroom at a snail pace because their bladder tanks let me know down below in the comments if you guys are actually having this issue because I've, I haven't had this issue, but they have done other things. Now, Nathan Richardson said, I am not sure if it has been patched yet, but there was the worst glitch where Sims would randomly just be mean out of nowhere. I had a Sim form a club where they all meet to play games and they legit hate each other now because they autonomously were mean to each other. Shake my head. Club rules said not to be mean and they don't care. LOL. No, you are not the only person who has had this problem. People are still complaining about this till this day. They said they did a fix about it, but I don't see a fix. Someone by the name of Paula also said, I'm not even playing anymore, lol. The glitches and the lack of gameplay just exhaust me. I'm still here because I've really grown fond of this community and you. Aw, thank you. Maybe I'll okay again in my winter vacation, but I don't have time for glitches and lags. And honestly... I do not blame you, okay? Anyone who's taking a break from The Sims, and I'm even, I'm not really considering taking a, like, a complete break, but I'm really, I'm really ready to bring more stuff onto the channel. I'm ready to bring more simulation games. I'm getting a, kind of a little bit played out of The Sims 4, and I'm gonna make a separate video on this, because I really wanna know your opinions on this, but, you know, while some of you guys are here, let me know down below in the comments, would you guys be interested in me playing other games? So I'm gonna make a completely separate video on this, so you guys can actually, like, go into detail, like, I don't know. I'm getting besides the point. Bottom line is, I completely understand the break we need from sims because sometimes it really can be exhausting and even it gets exhausting for me and i'm a, i'm like a og simmer i love playing the sims i made a sims channel but at the end of the day it's just sometimes it does become too much because it's like i cannot freaking play my game how is this supposed to be enjoyable for me if i can't play my game like this is supposed to be the game that i go to when i want to you know just get away from the reality of the of the world and capitalism and I just can't enjoy it. I'm mad because I spend my money on this. I'm a consumer. I expect a good product, especially for a billion dollar company. Stop playing. 
So the next person is actually by Kalia Daniels and says, I have no CC or mods and these are my problems. Plants won't grow. My biggest issue since I like to garden, Sims are still mean to each other for no reason. I can't finish school on my computer after I dropped out because there's no option for it. Toilet catches on fire without any upgrades. My Sim gets caught for stealing even though no one is around. Relationships, my game disappears and resets for no apparent reason like my Sim woke up with amnesia one day. If I edit Sims in other households using the cheat, my game will switch me over to their household. If I try to kill another Sim using a cheat, which whichever Sim I'm playing with, dies instead. I trapped the sim in a room with nothing around him and he could not die. People keep coming in my house without me telling them to come in with doors locked, yet they can't manage to get out. If I tell a sim to leave, they just stand there for a few minutes. Bottom line is, what you're telling me is that the game is freaking broken. I also heard people having issues with the whole facial hair ever since high school years. So let me know down below in the comments what is your thoughts on those and have you guys actually having problems with that. Anyway, someone by the name of Sims by Ray said, Don't know where this issue came from, but my teen can't go to school anymore. I don't have high school years packed, so yeah, it ain't the issue. Some other people be having having with that pack and my split from household options is completely gone wow that's really interesting this is actually the first time i'm hearing about this exact issue because i yeah that hasn't happened to me yet and i actually haven't heard someone having that let me know down below in the comments have you guys heard about this exact issue going on with high school years and or even if you don't have the pack is something going wrong with your sims can't go to school now the last one is by giant woman and says lol where to begin the lag in the game mistakes it impossible to play and, it, and it's even happening in build mode the game doesn't feel as fun or engaging as other generations and it's way too expensive for what we get and guys i'm going to end it on that note but this is what we mean when we say the game is broken we are not going to no longer be gaslighted because people like to gaslight and say nothing is wrong with the game you guys are complaining for no reason but here you guys go now let me know down below in the comments is there anything else that i forget or did anyone else not mention something that you actually want to mention yourself L leave it down below in the comments because i'm actually really curious what other issues you guys are having in the game and maybe you're not a subscriber but i'm actually still interested to know what do you think about the sims game have you played the sims and actually guys comment down below how long you've been playing the sims because i think this really does matter about who actually likes the game who doesn't and who thinks like it could be more it could be better because i feel like it does at the end of the day have to do with how long you've been playing the game and if you've known about one two or three anyway guys thank you guys so much for um watching and again i really appreciate every single one of you um if you guys really did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up because it genuinely does um, help my channel out a lot and we are on the road to 20k again thanks you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye